What's everybody? So today we're back in the garage working on the Civic once again. Now last video you guys saw, we ended up getting the brakes all bled and we got the new ITR wheels on here, which they look awesome. Super happy with them. Unfortunately though, they have a lot of brake dust on like you guys saw previously and we tried cleaning them, didn't really work out. So today we've got a few new products to try out. So last video you guys saw, we tried using this non-acidic wheel cleaner and it got them somewhat clean, but the brake dust didn't go away. So then I picked this up here, which is an iron removing spray clay and it seems to do a pretty good job. I've tested out a little bit on one of the wheels and it turns it purple and does all that stuff, which I'll show you guys how we use all this stuff. But then I picked this big bottle up here. This is Iron Decon. I went ahead and put it in this spray bottle here. This stuff stinks, so if it stinks, it's gotta work really good. So we're gonna go ahead, test this out, see how it works, and uh, see if we remove all this brake dust. But you guys can see here, the front wheel that we have here on this side was the cleanest one of the four that we got, so it should do a pretty good job. But the rest of the wheels, look like this and they are disgusting. So let's go ahead and pull these wheels off the car and uh, see if we can get these cleaned up today. So as you guys can see, we got the wheels off the car now. They are ready to go. We'll go and pop up the center caps. That way we can keep those things clean and out of the way and be able to get in there as much detail as possible and see if we can get all this brake dust removed. Because as you can see there, there is quite a bit. It is pretty nasty, but I think the stuff that we got here should work pretty good. I think we'll mostly be focusing on this here, this iron decon rather than the iron removing spray clay. This stuff I think is just a little bit more diluted version of what this is. Definitely there's a huge difference between the two smells. This is more manageable. This stuff smells like rotten eggs. So hopefully this works out pretty good. We'll put it to the test to find out. So with that being said, let's go ahead, take the wheels outside, spray it on there and uh, see how these work. Okay, so we got the wheels set up outside, ready to go. And Got a little squirt bottle of the iron decon setting here. Now, as far as instructions on this goes, looks like we let it set and soak for about two to five minutes. So you guys can see there, let it soak for two to five minutes. And uh, I may let it sit for a little longer, just keep it saturated. Don't want it to dry on the wheel. So once you do get it to pretty much turn purple from what I understand, we'll just rinse it off and uh, see how clean they get. So let's try this out. You guys can already see it work. It's starting to turn purple. We'll just keep it saturated, let it soak for two to five minutes, come back, rinse it off, and we may have to agitate it with that brush. So it's been about four minutes now. You guys can see they're starting to turn brown instead of purple. We'll go and rinse these off, see how they look, and uh, try it again. Because I'm sure it didn't take all of it off, so I'll have to probably agitate it with like a detailing brush of some kind and try to get it cleaned up even more. But out of all the wheels, this one and that one seem to be the most purple. That one seems pretty clean, and this one actually looks really good too. So uh, let's rinse these off and see how they look. So as you guys can see there, they look a little bit cleaner, not the best still. It did take off a little bit of the brake dust, but we'll try doing it again, do multiple rounds, let it set again, and take a brush to agitate it and see if we can remove it even more. Overall, that one was like the better of the four wheels and it did clean up a little bit more. So let's go ahead, try this again and uh, keep going. We'll see how many rounds this has to take to uh, get it completely eliminated.
So finally, after hours of scrubbing on these wheels and soaking them in the iron decon, the wheels are done and they look awesome. They look way better than what they were before. You guys saw at the beginning of the video how much brake dust was all over these things. They were disgusting. I don't know. That brake dust was probably on these since the first owner of them, but you guys can see there, these two wheels, this one and this one, look the best. We got these ones as clean as could be. There's like hardly any brake dust on these and uh, looks really good. There is still a little bit of like staining and stuff on the paint, but we're not gonna be able to get that out. Now these two, like you guys saw the beginning of the video, these things were probably the worst two out of the four that we have. You guys can see we got most of the brake dust off. There is still some staining in the corner and there is still a little bit of brake dust, but overall they do look way better. Same thing with this one. A lot of this too does appear to be like rock chips and stuff, so it's not perfect, but they look way better than what they did when we first got these. So now that we got those all cleaned up and good to go, let's go ahead and throw them on the car because I've been dying to see it all cleaned up. Get the car on the ground, actually see what it looks like. Throw the center caps on. Before we throw these wheels on, I've got a brand new set of lug nuts here from Honda. So they're the black ones. I think these will look really good and complement it quite well. So let's go ahead, throw these on and see how they look. So there you guys have it. We got the Civic finally back on the ground. I feel like it's been up in the air forever. Now it's got the ITR wheels on. And like I said in the last video, these wheels are perfect for this car. It looks so good. We got the five lug conversion all the way around, disc brakes in the rear with the ITR wheels. And now they are all cleaned up. That brake dust, like you guys saw, was pretty disgusting. But that iron decon stuff that we used seemed to do a pretty good job. So like I said, this stuff here seems to be a little bit more heavy duty compared to this. This stuff works great too, especially if you have like a little bit smaller like brake dust or rail dust or whatever it may be on your car, this stuff works good. But if you are trying to do something like I'm doing here, we try getting all that nasty built on brake dust, this is definitely the go-to. So with that being said, I think we'll go ahead and end out the video here. Hopefully in the next video, we'll be able to take this thing out and actually put it to the test. We've got a lot of things to test out. We've obviously got the new wheels and tires, so they should feel great. Cause if you guys see the old wheels and tires that are on there, we're starting to show cords. So yeah, not in the best of shape, but uh, these new ITR wheels, with the tires, I know the tires aren't new or anything, but they are still seem to be in pretty good condition. So we got to test out the wheels and tires, we got to test out all the brakes, and we still got to test out the Max Pinion Rod coilovers we put on quite a while ago at the beginning of winter. So with that being said, hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, make sure a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, we got plenty more stuff coming, and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay.